You're probably wondering, what is Quip? So let me explain. Quip is a productivity suite that combines documents, spreadsheets, tasks, and team chat in one place. Quip documents and spreadsheets are organized in shared folders so everything is in one place and your team has easy access. Quip is accessible from your web browser, Quip's desktop app, and Quip's mobile app so you can stay connected with your team and your work wherever you are. Now let's jump into Quip. Before we get our day started, I want to show you a couple of examples of work you can create in Quip. Project plans, territory plans, checklists, meeting notes, documentation, and much, much more. Let's navigate back to Quip's home screen so I can share with you what a typical day in Quip looks like. I recommend starting your day by checking the notifications in your notification bell. This is where you'll find all of your active notifications, where a teammate has mentioned you, shared a document, responded to a comment, liked something you wrote, or Quip is following up with a reminder on a task that's due soon. These are your most important notifications and the ones you'll want to take on every day. Quip was designed to help your team work more transparently, and the update screen shows you and your teammates activity on all of the docs that you have access to. These are your passive notifications, the ones you can keep up with just to stay in sync with your team without the pressure of having to respond to any of them. As you look down the sidebar, you'll notice a list of favorites. You can add to this list by starring documents you'll want to keep a close tab on or will visit regularly. When you favorite a document, you may notice a numbered indicator. These tally updates or changes to the document since you last visited, so you can quickly jump in and see what's changed. It's a helpful way to keep up on the documents or chat rooms you care the most about. The sidebar is available on every screen in Quip, so you have easy access to your notifications, your work, favorites, and teammates. When you're done responding to your various notifications, you'll then want to create a document of your own. There are two ways to do that. First, you can create a new document in your private folder from the top right of any screen in Quip. But I'd recommend you try creating a document from one of your shared folders. This way your teammates can jump in at any time to help out as they will have access to the doc while you draft it. It's important to remember that Quip is collaborative. It's okay for work to be in progress. The goal is to boost transparency and teamwork. The most important thing to know about Quip docs is that they're more than just text. Just like Facebook and Twitter, you can add social at mentions, which will trigger a Quip notification to your teammate to bring them into the document. You can start bulleted lists. You can add images. You can start a checklist at mention a teammate to notify them of the task, and set a reminder so Quip can notify them as the date approaches. Combine them all, and you can build truly useful pieces of work with your team. Lastly, you can add spreadsheets to your documents too. This is the real magic of Quip spreadsheets. They aren't a separate app or file type, but instead they're seamlessly integrated into your experience. You don't have to choose between text, images, task lists, or spreadsheets you can combine everything in one place. I can easily reference data from a spreadsheet and put it into the text of my document. This is perfect for pulling out the highlights so that my team doesn't have to dig into the weeds of my spreadsheet. Now there are a couple different ways to share your documents in Quip. Since we already started this document in a shared folder, let's jump to a document I started in my private folder yesterday. I can share the document with teammates by adding them from the name picker this will keep the document in my private folder, but give these individuals access to this document specifically. Anyone I share this document with will be able to edit, comment, and message this document. I've given them full rights. I can also get a shareable link and define the right permissions for anyone who has the link. Lastly, I can move this document to the marketing shared folder, which will give everyone who has access to that folder access to view and collaborate on my document. One last thing, I can share this document with external collaborators. This is perfect for contractors, consultants, or anyone else who you may work with who doesn't work at your company. You'll notice an external tag at the top of the document to highlight that it's an external document. 
So now that we've shared our document, this is when the real magical quip happens, and it's hashing work out together. Once you've shared a document with your team, it won't be long before your document looks something like this. Inline comments will start to bubble up in your document and in your spreadsheet. Your team can discuss the document at a high level in the conversation thread too. I recommend using app mentions to get your teammates' attention. As you and your team edit and discuss the document together, the conversation in the sidebar tracks everything, so it's easy to revert changes or keep up with what your team is saying. There's only ever one version of the document, so your team can easily stay on the same page. Read receipts will show you who's up to date on the conversation, and you can like things to show your support. Quip is real-time and lightweight. It's easy to give feedback, coordinate on plans, and make decisions. Quip gives your team context so you're always discussing your work alongside your work. No more long email threads or siloed chat conversations. In Quip, everything is in one place, on one screen. And my favorite part of Quip is that this is also true on mobile. Quip's mobile app, available on Android and iOS, is seriously awesome. When I leave work, I can stay connected with my team on the train home. I can pick up a conversation where it left off, I can start new documents and edit existing ones, adding tasks and assigning the work to teammates. Spreadsheets even work really well. It's easy for me to adjust a number or fix a calculation on the fly. When I get a new notification, I can quickly handle it hassle-free. There's no managing a lengthy email thread or fumbling through attachments, or even waiting till I get back onto my computer. My contributions are immediate and effective. With Quip's mobile app, I can keep the ball rolling and I can go home with peace of mind. Okay, so that's everything from me. A day in the life of Quip. A day without email, file attachments, and unnecessary meetings. I hope you enjoy your first couple days in Quip, being more productive, more focused, and happier than you were before.